He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim pure Red Guard challenge. We're playing Skyrim using only the six Red Guard skills: destruction, alteration, smithing, block, one-handed, and archery. And we are here in Riften, and we're going to go get the Amulet of Zenithar. I want to thank everybody for your support and all the comments on part one. Part one. Wow. Um. 20,000, over 20,000 views in the first 24 hours of uploading. That's the first time I've ever done that in the history of Major Slack Attack. Yeah, so thank you everybody for your support. Obviously, uh, <laughs> going with Skyrim was the right choice. Yeah, um, and there's over six, 600 comments as of this writing. Um, I did indeed read every single comment as of this, um, uh, what did I say as of this writing? As of this recording. Um, the most frequently asked question. Let me just take care of this guy here. This is the Broken Tower of Zenithar, by the way. I'm going to show you in the map where I am. Okay, we're going to get the Amulet of Zenithar. Yeah, the most frequently asked question was, um, what are the mods that are you are using? Or show me your mod list. I actually, like I said, I uh, was going to do in part one in the commentary. Um, I put in the entire list of all the mods I'm using in the video description. Okay, I mentioned that briefly in part one. I guess a lot of you missed that. That's okay. That's okay. I know from my years of experience on YouTube that nobody reads the video description. It's just the way it is. So yeah, it's there and I will continue to carry it over to all the video descriptions in this walkthrough. Let's just quickly grab this Amulet of Zenithar and see what's in here. Yep, so um, if you want to see the, all the mods I have installed, just look in the video description. All right, so that's our business here. We have the Amulet of Zenithar. We're gonna get 10% better prices on everything. Let's see if we can get safely back to... Are we in combat now? Yes, we are. Okay, so we have to get back. We have to get past this, uh, this spider here. Yep, so if you wanna see all the mods I have installed, just look in the video description. Where is this spider? Here he is. Maybe he can do a little bit of, uh... Actually... Oh, these guys are gonna kill him before I can take a shot. Okay, so let's get the Frostbite Spider Venom. And we're done. Glad to see that some of you geezer, geezer gamers out there got the Pamela Greer reference. As for everyone else, just flew right over your head. <laughs> That's to be expected as well. Um... And we are free from combat, so we can get out of here. Let's go to the Guardian Stones. And I see also that some of you were rather shocked at my rather harsh criticism of the Skyrim mod scene. <laughs> so I will definitely have to make a mod video addressing that. Calm down there. Oh, by the way, I'm going to dub the Snowball. What do you think about that? You don't like that, eh? Okay, well, we're going to replace you soon. Anyways. But snowball it is. Okay. From the Guardian Stones. Let's just look around here. We're looking for the signpost. There's the signpost. And I'm going to go due south. Look for the broken... Tree stump, just go past here underneath the pointy rock and into the foggy clearing. And this is what I call corundum clearing. I still a little more shock mining. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, this particular mod is called. Um, Well, it's in the video description. Nine Corundamore. Yeah, you can you can mine with uh, the Spark Spell or the Flame Spell. I think it's way cooler just to mine with the Spark Spell. But you can also mine with the Flame Spell. Um, I forget the exact name. If you look in the, the mod list, you'll see it. You'll find it right away. Shock Mining or Mining with... Sp oh, it's called Mining with Sparks. 
Mining with Sparks and Flames, I believe it's called. Okay, and down here, somebody was asking about this. Am I going to get this? Yes, uh, although I don't think we're going to use it. The Thalmor Robes. What do we get this time? An Iron Helmet of Minor Alteration. There's always an enchanted piece of armor on this guy, plus the Hooded Thalmor Robes, which I don't think we're going to use. We could sell it, though. Let's just grab all this stuff. Oh, you've been passed by the slack. And is there a wolf out here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so off to Riverwood to get that firewood we left there. Easy there, Snowball. Easy. Um, tell you what, let's sell off. And we've got the Amulet of Zenithar. Slap that on. Get 10% better prices. Ismir's beard. Ismir's beard. You're going to freeze to death. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look. Okay. Starting with the weapons. We don't need two fishing rods. We don't need the daggers. I believe we're going to buy a steel mace shortly. So let's just dump all the maces and these two swords here. And we're going to get a shield shortly as well. So we can get rid of this and we can get rid of this. Keeping all the Imperial Armor. Get rid of the lockpick. And mm -hmm. we're done. Shut Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, we got some clothing we don't need. Let's just dump all this, that, that. Don't need that. I'm on the fence about whether to keep this or not. Um, because we are going to the College of Winterhold, and this is going to be superseded. Uh, but, 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 but I'm going to sell it. And we're good to go. All right then. All right then. Now about that firewood I left. Hang on, let's get let me just get rid of these arrows here. I'm gonna harsh my bikini buzz. <laughs> All right, where's that firewood that we left here? Here it is, and let's do a couple rounds of wood chopping. Sing the Monty Python songs like sing the Monty Python song song. The Lumberjack song. It's not as funny when it's a female character. I don't know. Let's see if you can find the lyrics on my laptop here. There you go. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night. I work all day. I cut down trees. I skip and jump. I like to press wildflowers. I put on women's clothing and hang around in bars. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. He works all night. He sleeps all day. He cuts down trees. He skips and jumps. He likes to press wildflowers. He puts on women's clothing and hangs around in bars. <laughs> What's the second verse? Um. He cuts down trees, he wears high heels, spenders, and a bra. I wish I was a girly, just like my dear papa. <laughs> and I'm sure somebody's gonna say I got the lyrics wrong. It's, it's like my dear mama. It's like, actually, yep, you're right. Originally, it was like my dear mama, but they changed it. Monty Python changed it to just like my dear papa. So the later version, yeah, it's a lot funnier like that anyways. Okay, so here we are in White Run. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Yeah, yeah. Okay, River calls for the Yarl's aid. Riverwood's in danger too. Yep. You better go on in. 
You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. All right. Halt. Nah, you already said that. With the yeah, yeah. Okay, in we go. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is kick off a couple quests here. Smith and Slash going to the guard barracks here. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. Okay, you can pause the video and read this up if you still desire. It's gonna kick off a quest in Embershard Mine, which put a basically a boss orc in there. If we kill her, we get some pretty um pretty valuable armor. Won't be able to wear it, but um, be able to sell it off. We'll table that for a later date. So Smith and Slash has begun. The most important quest I want to begin. These are all like Skyrim anniversary uh, edition quests, by the way. The most important quest I want to begin is this one here in the Drunken Hun Huntsman. Pick up the Battle of the Champions. No, this will start Battle of the Champions. Done and done. Okay, so now let's go f get friendly with the inn. We could do that by selling them some firewood. Doing me is just to get the well rested bonus. Because I'm too cheap to spend 10 gold. Okay, so we don't want to sell her all our firewood. So let's just go in here. We're going to drop all but one firewood. Okay, 17. You just hang out right there. Don't move. Hold on, my dear. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I have firewood to sell. Honest gold for honest work. There you go. So now we're friends with the end, and this will begin Pets of Skyrim. Grab that. No. And since we're friends with the end, now we can take all our stuff and let's take our firewood back. And it's going to collect all the tomatoes. Tomatoes. Be careful. Tomatoes and the venison. More tomatoes. And whoop. And the leeks. And let's make a batch of vegetable soup. Sadia! Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And some venison soup. There you go. How about a drink? You want a drink? No, thank you. Now please, no more questions. And let's pick up this. And you could be re pause the video and read this up if you so desire. And then again, this quest when the cat's away. All right, so we are friends with the end. Pardon me, Sadia. Huh? You're not gonna make me run through the fire. You're gonna make me run through the fire? Okay. Put up. Put up. Hot foot. Hot foot. Okay, let's go upstairs. And since we're friends with the end, we can use their bed for free. Let's wait till the next morning or sleep till next morning, say about 17 hours. That'll work. I'm not sure you should be walking around naked. Naked? Nothing I'm not naked. She's got her bikini on. And what of my son? Mm, okay. hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? Thorold. What's the mod you use to wait fast, Slack? What's the mod I use to wait fast? That's not a mod. That's something you could do on the PC version. Bring up the wait screen. Um, put it to whatever you want to wait to, right? And then hold down the left mouse button on the slider. Hit enter, or rather hold down enter, and quickly slide the slider to zero. And that's how you wait fast. You can only do on the PC version though, unfortunately. Okay, so we got a lot of new stuff here at the blacksmith. This is because of the, I think it's called JK Skyrim mod. Um, pretty sure that's what it is. Alright, so let's make a Karenda ingot. And... Let's make all these iron ingots. And let's go make four leather by tanning up one of our saber cat pelts that we got from Fane Dell. Alright, so let's get forging. Quick say before every crafting session, and we want to make a hunter backpack. Boom, and we Not want to make 
apprentice level work, but solid. Keep at it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Now let's make a whole bunch of arrows. This is gonna level up smithing. This is important. And it will give us a whole bunch of arrows. Okay, so what are we looking at here? I got two firewood left. How convenient. If we ask her if she needs any help around the fort, she's going to give us two iron ore or iron ingots. Put on some clothes, you damn fool. <laughs> Again, okay. <laughs> uh, need any help around the forge? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Okay, we're not going to do that because dagger is going to be useless to us in this run. Um, did she give us ore or ingots? She gave us ingots. Okay, so we can make a couple more batches of arrows here. Done and done. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Alright, so now I should have... 408 arrows. Great. Excellent. Perfect. Don't okay, so... Check inside the shop if you need to. Next, talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. Alright, let's go do that. What are you up to now? I ain't huh? done nothing. Ain't done nothing, eh? Alright. Sure, whatever. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. The very Brigands, I can handle. And this talk of dragons? World's gone mad. <laughs> okay, here we are in Dragon's Reach, and we're gonna get a cost by Irilith. Hey, Irilith. Okay, um, first of all, I'd like to register an official complaint with the Jarl. My girl here is clearly wearing a bikini. And yet everyone is complaining that she's naked. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Oh. Come on then. Okay. The Yarl will want to speak to you. <laughs> oh, you see that there, Pamela? There are advantages to wearing your bikini. The guards let you in, and the, now the Yarl wants to talk to you. Okay? Alright. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Uh, yeah. Look, my girl here, Pamela, was arrested by the Imperials. This is an outrage. We've been running a large and respectable skooma operation over on the east side near Riften, and we've had an arrangement with the guards there for years. All right? Really? Yeah. You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. Oh, but well, it's yeah. none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen. What happened in Helgen? Well, this uh, this big dragon showed up. His name is Alduin. By the way, he's a big customer of ours. He buys pounds of skooma every month. And they saw that my girl here was about to be executed, so uh, he freaked out and just wiped out Helgen. And then he heard that there's um, a blacksmith in Riverwood who's aligned with the Imperials as well, so he said he's going to go down to Riverwood and blow everybody away there as well. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. That's a good idea. It's in the most immediate danger. Okay, and while these guys are talking about this, figuring shit out, pardon my French, um, let's talk to Ferengar. Come to Dragon's Ferengar, my man. Hmm. I had you figured for me. Let's buy some key spells here. Appreciate this. Choking grasp. And. That's part of the uh, Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Choking Grasp and Oak Flesh. You know, Very good. You got the app and let's eat those books. Choking Grasp, Oak Flesh. You should Go to our spells. Hockey. Hockey. The major. That's good. Okay, Choking Grasp. We're going to use this to recover health henceforth. And oak flesh. We're gonna use that to level up 
alteration and everything else is as it should be very good okay you guys done here Irileth, send a detachment to riverwood at once that's a good idea yes my yarl if you'll excuse me i'll return to my duties that would be best well done you sought me out on your own initiative you've done white run a service I won't forget it. Okay, just make with the steel armor. There we go. As a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents. Okay, I'll go to talk to Ferengar. Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors. Okay, and by the way, uh, some of you are asking about um, me to turn on um, the subtitles. I did that. I initially told you that no, I wasn't going to do that um, because it obscured the menu, and I was I was tired of that. But I realized that with Sky UI installed, um, that may not happen. So, so we'll see how it goes. But with a normal menu, um, the subtitles always get in the way and often it prevents you from doing business until the subtitles disappear from whatever the npcs have recently said so yeah we'll see how it goes so yes um subtitles are now on there you go see how much i love you let's grab all these tomatoes here and the cabbage and the garlic this will be useful to make um garlic bread which we can use to cure diseases since we can't make potions Grab all these goodies here, the potatoes, the leeks, and that's it, we're done. And let's make another batch of vegetable soup. And some venison stew. And I can't make beef stew because I don't have any. Oh, I don't have any salt pile? Oh, I forgot to get salt pile at the inn. Okay, that's no biggie. Alright, so. The Yarl should be over at Ferengar now. Let's go get the Bleak Falls Barrel quest. Faringar. I think I found someone who can help. Ah, indeed. The Yarl. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Okay, for yes. the love of Talos, shut well, up and let's get this over with. Straight to the point, eh? Yeah, here we go. No need for tedious <laughs> how I uh, learned of a certain there we go. stone tablet said to Housed be in Bleak in Falls Barrel. Barrel. Okay, so that's this it. That's all we need, and we are out of here. Next. Guess what, Pamela? It's Halloween time. We're gonna dress you up as an Imperial soldier. Off to Catlas Farm. What is it? Dragons? Uh, calm down there, buddy. Okay, glad to see my horse is still alive. I just did a practice run where I killed the horse like almost instantly. I don't know how I managed that. And I just want to quickly grab these leaks here. Should be some more leaks over here. And we already got those. Okay, and to solitude. Somebody else was asking if any of my um, any of my mods change the gameplay. None of my installed mods provide any tactical advantage whatsoever. I was very careful about that. So if you're following this walkthrough along on say um, the PS4 or whatever or you just don't have mods Position. installed, it should be no problem. And Check out this shortcut to the blacksmith here in Solitude. This is way cool. This is a really good idea. Okay, so he's busy watching the beheading, but everybody at Castle Dower should be up and running. So let's go in here. Alright, Pamela, it's Halloween. You are now an Imperial soldier. Let's put on all this armor here. Very good. Pretty spiffy. Alright. 
and this is related to the Battle of the Champions. Here we go. Persuade Lagati to make you his champion. I should stay here somewhere. Here we go. Alternatively, alternatively, I could try posing as a soldier and speaking to Lagati Adventus Cassianus in solitude. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. Hey, Lagati. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only I'm a matter of time. Okay, I heard you're looking for a soldier to fight a Stormcloak champion. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? Certainly. My girl can handle it, and then some. I knew I could count on you, soldier. Here, this is for you. And he gives you the key. the rebels the utility of their cause. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. And the key opens up this chest down here. The man's going to try to take white And... Looky what we have here. Look at all this luscious gear. <laughs> Yoink. And uh oh, I'm overloaded. That's why I made the hunter backpack. Let's throw that on and we're good to go. Okay, so we can't wear any of the armor. Any of the Imperial Dragon armor. But as you can see, it sells for a pretty penny. So we're going to sell all this off and finance a few uh, special operations. As far as the weapons, we will be able to use dragon's oath until the charge runs out. We could still use it afterwards but it won't have any charge. We won't be able to recharge it because we're not allowed to do any chanting. Um, this will have to sell off because it's two-handed. Let's go make some money. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protect If it's arms or armor you need, see Bayrand in Castle Dower. Bloody good blacksmith, that one. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for the tip. Bayrand. Here he is. So did you have fun watching the beheading? Okay, so you're back to work now, eh? Seems there's no end. Take a look. Okay, let me just make sure I got the um, amulet of Zenithar on. That reminds me, I could actually. Anytime you need arms or armor. Yeah, we could get uh, the blessing of Zenithar. Villa, the blessing of Zenithar as well. Let's just go My quickly do that. Never rest. I love how Skyrim made it so that there's always a lineup at the Shrine of Zenithar. It's like everybody wants to make money. That's the only blessing there is, you know, they're really concerned with. More health? More magicka? Meh. More money? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Wanderer. Hmm. Blades, helmets. Pretty much anything. Okay, Pamela Greer. Okay, and I got this all right. He's got 1142 gold. Um, let's start with the armor and sell off. Hmm, 1247. Now, if we buy a steel mace, do you have a steel mace? You do indeed, you always do. So let's buy a steel mace, and that'll give him enough gold to sell our. Helmet. Perfect. Okay, you don't have any gold left. Keep but we have 2300 gold, which is absolutely perfect. Let's go down to the Radiant Raymond. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. If you need a place to sleep, head over to the The Radiant Raymond is highly likely to have a circlet. Circlet of Minor Archery. Okay, Gizli. Yeah, Gizli. Okay. We're gonna play a little game here. Welcome Every time you don't have world, a circlet of Eric Minor Eric Archery, we're gonna punch you. How come you don't have this for sale screen? Have you met my dear? Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the. Oh wait a minute, sir. Why, hello. Hello. You you yeah, here. Design. Okay, and Dari, we're gonna so play a little game. Every time you don't have a circlet of minor archery, you're gonna get punched. Figure, she's got a ring of minor archery. I need this too, but I don't want to buy it right now because it's gonna screw up my. Uh... 
She's got two of them. How about that? Dang it. Hmm. No, no. Sorry. <laughs> Finally. You get punched. Never sh All right, yeah, punch shopping. If you punch a shopkeeper and then immediately, like, do a quick save just before and then punch them and then immediately quick load, um, that will change their inventory. Oh, just drop Let's see if we can't find an outfit that suits you. And yes, it is a bit of an exploit, but all it does is, here we go. All it does is just speed things up. It doesn't really offer a tactical advantage. You know, I could do, you know, pretty much the same thing and just wait 48 hours, but that would, you know, just like uh, drag out the walkthrough a lot more. And we don't want to do that. So there's no real tactical advantage to do this. In fact, it's a disadvantage to do this because um, you don't advance time and nothing responds. All right. So um, now that I've rationalized that, let's buy the circlet of mining archery and that bottoms out our gold supply. But anyways, mission accomplished. Thank you gods for the end of yet another point. And yes, what a colossal bitch she is. Alright, so mission accomplished. Spare some. We now have a circlet of minor archery. Still got all this gear to sell off. Let's go where the money is. That would be Soul's time. Catless Farm. Yep, the merchants of Soul's time have a lot more money at their disposal. Alright, calm down there, Snowball. What is it, Red Dog? I can take you to where do you want to go? I'd like you to take me to Windhelm. Climb and back and we'll be off. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. They say the big old palace there was built by Yees. Alright, um, we're not going in Windhelm. We're here to take the boat to Solstheim. And I forgot to consider that I can't afford it. Huh. Okay, it looks like we are going into Windhelm to sell off this Imperial armor so that I can afford the 250 gold it takes to take the boat. Okay, so we're going to Windhelm. Okay, let's just wait till business hours. You pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm close. Wow, complete transformation. Taken aside because it's not our fight. The mod that transforms the cities like this, I believe, is called J.K.'s Skyrim. If I'm not mistaken. Knives and other goods for the home, all at reasonable prices. Look it up on my mod list in the video description. Okay, you at work? Very good. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Okay, and let's sell off all this this gear here, the steel armor. There we go, we have 250 gold mission accomplished. Whether it's armor Do you have any money left? Everyone says you're look take a look. Yes you do. Can you afford anything that we have for sale? Yes, you can. You can buy the boots. Yeah, it's off a little Very good. All right, ta ta. Seeing the funny papers. All right, over to Solstein. Easy, easy snowball. Alright, let's swing it around right on down to the docks. Leave this an iron ore vein that we could hit up on the way. Right here. Very 
Very good. Hmm. That water looks a little cold there, Pamela. Better heat it up. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> and Yaland, my man. Nope. Here we are. Take me to Soul's time. I'll give if you ask me. Still interested in heavy? Um, you've got yourself a ship. Let's cast off. Cast off immediately. Had a boy. Welcome to Ravenrock. Just be careful here. Things aren't what they used to be. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Uh, well, we're uh, looking for honest work. You've picked one of the worst places in Morrowind to do that, but... Oh, okay. Yourself. Okay, so you're all a bunch of low-light criminals, eh? Okay, keep that in mind. <laughs> and... Hunt your backpack, you're harshing my bikini buzz. There we go. What time is it? Everybody should be at work. Yep, good. Very good. Miserable. You haven't seen Crush's Corellius, have you? Oh yeah, you want your pickaxe back yet. Okay. Um listen, you're gonna have to take care of that yourself for now. We got other things on our mind. Look, if you see Crush's, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Okay, we'll table that for a later date. For now. Um, you know what? We can get um, a better prices blessing by going to the temple here and hitting up the shrine of Mephala. All the way to the back. Carefully don't steal anything. There we go. Shrine of Mephala. Active effects. The blessing of Mephala. By the way, the Rig Guard's special power. is Adrenaline Rush. Stamina regenerates 10 times faster for 60 seconds. This is not that useful. But uh, I'm going to try and incorporate as much as I can into the walkthrough. Okay, Glover so... Mallory's the name. Hmm. How are you doing, Glover? Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. We got some expensive gear to offload on you. Namely, you can't even afford this, but... Um... No, we're definitely keeping the shield. Okay, we leveled up again. Points into health. We have two perk points. We're going to spend one most definitely on novice destruction. Novice destruction one, please. Thank you very much. Okay, pet this. We're going to play a little game. <laughs> okay, quick save. Want to buy anything? Just what you see here. You have 1,500 gold. We have... 
something you can't afford. Unless we buy something I, from you. Nope. Okay. Like I said, we're gonna play a little game. If Every you time we don't have something that we need, you get punched. How about a ring of minor archery? That Everything would be fantastic. Display, really. Nope. Can't use that. Nope. Okay. If you, you know the deal. Supply. Every time you don't have anything... We need you get punched. Just what you see here. All right, this could take a minute or two. Smoke him if you got him. Found something. Didn't take long. Ring of minor destruction. We can definitely use this. And it costs 1200 gold, adding on to his 1500 gold, we'll be almost just enough to sell off um our armor. I'm going to lose 300 gold doing this. Well, I'm just going to take the hit and lose 300 gold. If you need any supplies, you know where to. That works. All right. Um What well, wait a minute? The Elven Bow. Out here. South of Raven Rock. There's a dead soldier who always has an Elven Bow and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, Puma, this is gonna be a hit and run. Just right in. Grab it and run. Can we fast travel? Okay, so we got a whole bunch of bone mold gear that we can't use. Let's go offload that. Who's got the money? Want to buy anything? See for yourself. You have no money. If you need any supplies, you know where to find me. Find my pickaxe. Yet. Hmm. Blades, helmets. You got the money. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Oh yeah. That's what I forgot to sell off. Okay, we don't need this anymore because we got the elven bow. Alright, let me no just wait 48. Better give that pick at Back to me, or else. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Very good. Now we got 5,000 gold. Okay, mission accomplished. That's everything I wanted to do here. You tell One final thing to do. Them. Let's go get some... Some digs. As in, a place to stay so we can stash our stuff. We're going to be activating several players' homes in this run, just to get the uh, the loot in them. But I think the one place we're going to live at, the actually live at, will be Mirwatch, that's my favorite. So, we'll have to go to Morthal. 
Where do you want to go? Morthal, my good man. We'll be off. Oh, steady. Okay, and we are riding basically to the east. You can see it marked here, Mirror Watch. That's where we're going. We will have to take care of... Of course. <laughs> He's spitting poison, but we have 50% poison resistance. Oops, and um, let's put on the hunter backpack. Let's put on our, all our archery gear. I key that. You're number three. Okay, all we have to do is just keep our distance from him, and. This is not a good idea. Actually, what I should do is go activate the Thief Stone. And we are now approaching the 50 minute mark here, so the video is getting a little long. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to do this first thing next video. Because once again, I'm under pressure to get a video up today. Um, it's been 36 hours since I last uploaded part one. I know a lot of you are jonesing for part two, so yeah. I'm just call it activate the thief stone. I'm gonna call it. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, thank you for your support. Um, this is gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, thanks for your support. Thanks for all the comments, stuff like that. There. And uh, my name is Major Slack, and I definitely approve this video. If you do too, please give me a thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right. See you next time for part three. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.